So did you know that 71% of Warren Buffett's portfolio for Berkshire Hathaway, that a mass of a $358 billion fund is made up of four different stocks. And we're going to break them down and get your guys' opinion if you would buy or if you would sell them right now. I really hope that you learned something new. Please consider dropping a thumbs up and subscribing. And remember, I upload new videos every single day about investing and trading in the stock market. So make sure you subscribe. And if you have any questions, shoot me a direct message right now via Instagram. And that's the third link in the description down below. Let's go ahead and get right to it. 71% of Warren Buffett's $358 billion portfolio is invested in only four stocks. The first one, the big Oracle of Omaha is invested in $165 billion, which amassed to a 46.3% stake invested in Apple stock. The crazy thing about this is that Warren Buffett always didn't, uh, always had this constant notion of not wanting to invest in big tech companies. But obviously things have changed and even recently, right? Um, it shows that Warren Buffett has even added more to his portfolio, which amassed to a 46% investment of his, of his total portfolio for the Oracle of Omaha. Now let's go ahead and break it down. What is Apple? Apple is literally one of the most valuable companies that's publicly traded. And it doesn't surprise me why a majority of his $358, uh, $358 portfolio is invested in this stock. So it's overall market cap is 200, uh, 2.89 billion. I'm sorry, 2.89 trillion. It just fell a little short, uh, short of three trillion dollars. You can see this recent pullback down to the moving average. Um, but overall, this thing is one of the few companies that has exceeded a three trillion dollar market cap. There's a slight resistance at two hundred dollars a share. But obviously, the thing that I appreciate most about Apple is how consistently bullish it is. And how any time that it pulls on back, it always recovers. It pulls on back, it always recovers. It's part of the S&P 500, obviously part of NASDAQ, and it is the big one, right? Not just for the overall market, but also for Warren Buffett. 46% of his entire portfolio is made up of Apple stock. I thought that that was quite interesting. Bank of America. Bank of America makes up nearly 10% at $35 billion as an investment. The really cool thing about this is that, again, Bank of America is also trading close to its book value. So you can see why he could potentially see a little bit more value now than before, right? Uh, so what this means is if we go ahead and look at Bank of America based off of recent patterns, it has had a really nice pullback down to the lows of 25. It's right now testing highs of 33 with previous highs of 47. So what if Bank of America does begin to recover? What would that look like for Warren Buffett? For, well, from current price points to previous highs, that's a 44, almost 45% ROI. Not bad for having $35 billion. Now here's gonna be a little uh, task for you guys. We're gonna talk about the four stocks today. If you see value in any of them and you invest in them, remember, you know, I feel like sometimes even myself, Anytime I'm up or down one or two or three or 5%, I'm just like, oh, right, I get very emotional, or I get very excited, or I get very sad just depending on how my overall investments are performing. But remember, now you know what Warren Buffett's top four investments are. So anytime if you're invested in any of those four stocks and you're like, oh shoot, this thing pulled back 5%, that sucks for me. Now imagine what that looks like for Warren Buffett. I don't know. I found that to be quite interesting on how you can make those comparisons if you share any of the same investments uh, to one of the greatest of all time. Now, American Express. Uh, American Express, he's been invested in this, if I'm not mistaken, uh, since 1991. I think it shared it right here. 1991, he's been invested in American Express. Now, quite the opposite from Bank of America. Bank of America is a little bit more on the undervalued side and has huge upside potential based off previous highs. Bank, uh, I'm sorry, American Express is quite different. American Express is still extremely bullish, so I can see why he's invested in this, but it's much closer to the previous all-time highs at a resistance of around 194, right? So now we have decent pullback potential. So let me ask you this. If you're Warren Buffett looking at previous patterns and that previous sign of resistance, are you gonna to continue to hold? Maybe reduce your position size in anticipation of a pullback? You let me know what you think down in the comment section. Now, the last one that is on the list is the one that I've learned from the very beginning that has been one of Warren Buffett's biggest plays from when I first showed interest in the stock market, and that is Coca-Cola, ticker symbol KO. I think he's had 36 consecutive years that he's been invested in Coca-Cola. 
So let's go ahead and pull that up. That is ticker symbol KO. And how many of you guys knew this? That Coca-Cola was such a strong performing stock. Now again, Coca-Cola is not an emerging market. It's not an, you know, a huge tech company. It doesn't have to do with AI. But guess what? It's consistent, it's bullish, and it's showing growth year after year after year. And of course, it has its pullbacks, but this is the beautiful thing about investing when you keep it simple. You could see why Warren Buffett has been so attached to something like Coca-Cola and his common um, kind of like pitch of like Coca-Cola sells over 1 billion cans every year. Why wouldn't I be invested in something like this? Now, I personally love Coke. Not only does it make sense for me to be invested in this, but also anytime that there's a pullback, I love to, the idea of jumping into it because again, it's a common phrase known when it comes down to investing in the stock market and it's buy when people are fearful and sell when people are greedy. So I wanted to get your guys' input on these top four stocks. Which one is your favorite and which one is your least favorite? Let me know down in the comment section. But again, this is what really differentiates investing to trading. Investing is, I like to keep it simple, at least with these safer plays. It doesn't, it also doesn't mean that you can't have riskier investments, right? For companies that are in emerging markets. But the thing that this really sheds light on is that this is Warren Buffett, one of the greatest investors of all time. And 71% of his entire portfolio is made up of just four companies. And really almost 50% is made up of just one, which is Apple stock. Now, how does this compare to your investments? Are you all over the place or do you have your safe plays, which seems to be these four for him, and then your other ones can be less capital, but in maybe emerging markets, which can yield a greater return over a longer period of time if they perform well. This is where position size management really plays out. But again, these are concepts that we talk about every single day during my live trading session. I trade live every morning right at market open. And if you're an absolute beginner and you want to tune on in the next time the market opens, I would love to have you there. It's the second link in the description down below. We're running our biggest sell. It's never going to get better than this. So again, if you want to tune on in, second link in the description down below. But I hope that earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care team.